Hello everyone, this is Stephanie. Welcome to another video. So today we're going to continue with the In the Garden series. This is a little brick stitch series that we started last video. So here's the earring that we made last time. And so now I've made the bracelet. And I really like the, the two together, so I'm going to put the earrings aside and just give you a quick look at the bracelet. So it's the same component, just held it as a square. I beaded a ring or a quick link here for the clasp to get the clasp dimensional and nice and strong and I added let me pull out a teeny bit I added a toggle from a clasp that I already had so this is what it looks like there you go alright so I'm gonna clear the decks and I'm gonna get us some materials list going and we'll get started making this Let's get a materials list going. So you're going to need some of these six millimeter daisy spacers or hishi uh, spacers. And of course I will put everything in the description box below the video. So don't forget to click the down arrow or the show more. The box will open and all the information, amounts, colors, everything will be there. I'm just giving you an idea of what you need here. So you need this six millimeter spacer. This is a daisy or hishi or a ridged spacer. Just make sure it's a six millimeter. You'll need a three millimeter pearl a four millimeter pearl. I have a two millimeter truck bead here, an 110 seed bead, a 150 seed bead. I have a 12 millimeter beetle on quick link and this is um, for the the clasp, the loop of the clasp. We're going to bead the inside of it and the outside so this is going to be fun. You'll need a toggle bar. I just used this from a clasp that I had and I will link you know, down below, or I, you know, tell you where I purchased it and the name of it. It's from a Tierra Cast clasp. You'll need some of these Swarovski um, four millimeter flat backs. This is for the little pop of crystal. You know, in the summer months, I don't use as many crystals, so it's nice to have a little pop of crystal. You know, we love our crystals. So here I have those. That's an SS16 size 11 beading needle. I have a 12 here also, in case we need it. Some eight pound. Fireline, I use black satin. You need a little stop bead. Here, I'll just pop that, that for the stop bead. All right, so that's what you're going to need. Uh, don't forget to like and subscribe. Don't forget to check down there, please, for everything that you're going to need, as well as a coupon code for my favorite um, large beading mat and a link to the No More Ropes bead tray if you're interested. So click the down arrow to show more so you get all that info. All right, so I'm going to clear the decks and I'm going to get started. Let's get started. So I just wanted to mention that I'm going to put some timestamps in the description box below the video for various parts of the video. Um, so if you want to skip around um, from part to part, you can. So don't forget to look down there. All right, so thread your needle with about 30, 32 inches of thread. Uh, put on a stop bead. And leave enough of a tail just to hold on to. Here's my spacer. I'm going to pull on pretty tight for this. I'm going to pick up a 3 millimeter pearl. I'm going to sew through the back of the spacer, back to front. I'm just going to hold it with my thumb and forefinger at the moment. I'm just going to do that. Okay, so that's how it looks. And I'm just going to sew up through the pearl. And I want to make sure that my thread sits in between two of the little beads that are on the spacer. Alright. I'm going to pick up an 11 0 and a 3 millimeter pearl. I'm going to sew through the spacer from back to front and up the pearl, making sure that that thread sits in between the two little beads on the spacer. If you're using the um, ridge spacer, it doesn't really matter where the thread sits as much as it does with this. Do that one more time. 1103 through the back, up the front sure it sits in there. Okay, that's what you're going to do all the way around and then um, we'll come on to the end and we'll do the last one together. Coming down to the last 1103 millimeter, back to front, through the pearl, and now at this point we just need to add an 110 in between these two pearls. So pick up an 110, sew down through the next pearl, to come back through the spacer and then up 
the back of the pearl you just went through. So you'll just have to move around and find the, there we go, like that, so just, just to secure it around the spacer. Give it a pull, that's what it looks like. Pick up a drop, a four millimeter pearl. I drop, here, coming out of here. So through the next pearl. Just make sure it's nice and situated nicely. And then up the next pearl. And again, drop four millimeter. Oops, drop. There we go. Exiting here. So through this one. Make sure it pops into place and up the next pearl. Okay, you're going to do that two more times and then maybe back here and we'll continue. Okay, putting the last group on, truck, four millimeter truck, sewing through this one, and then sewing up through the next pearl. That's what it looks like so far. I mean, there are several times you can stop and just make a an earring or a pendant or whatever out of this, but we're going to keep going. All right, so I'm so I'm coming out of the three millimeter. I'm just going to sew through the drug, through this corner pearl, and down through this drug. So I just want to position my needle right here. Then I'm going to take a 15-0 and sew through the 11-0, 15-0. So through the truck. Then I'm going to take seven 11 O's. And I'm just going to surround this pearl, the four millimeter, by sewing through this truck bead. Like that. 15 0 through the next 11 0. 15 0 through the next drop bead. Got it. 7 11 0s. Surround this pearl by sewing through the drop. Give them a little pull. Continue that all the way around, so your 15 O's in between, and then seven around the, the pearl, and then come on back and we'll continue. I'll do the last one with you. So exiting this truck, going to sew through this one to surround my pearl. Now I'm going to sew through the 11 0, excuse me, the 15 0, 11 0, 15 0, the truck, the next truck bead and all of the 11 O's surrounding the next pearl. So I want to exit the, the last 11 O around this pearl. So at this point you can make an earring again or a pendant. It's just really pretty just on its own. But we're going to continue and make it sort of this little pillow all right, so I'm going to pick up four 11 O's. I'm coming out of this 11 O. I'm just going to skip to the next group of seven and sew through all of those. Do that again. Four 11 O's. Skipping over all the beads and sewing through those all those 11 O's around the pearl. Do that two more times and then we'll continue. Okay, last group of four. Through the next group and I want you to come on around and sew through all the beads 
you put on and all the 11 O's on the outside. So just keep going all the way around and it's going to start to pull in a little bit which is good. I, I like this looking like a little pillow. You see how it's starting to pull in. You don't want to pull it in too tight, just enough just to make it look a little bit like a pillow. So come all the way around and then um, meet me back here and we'll continue. All right, so I've sewn all the way around to reinforce and I, what I want you to, where I want you to exit is, is the fourth bead that um, on whatever side you're on, um, I want you to come out of the fourth bead. So remember we have seven beads around the pearl. We put four in the middle and seven. So I want you exiting one of the, the four of the center beads here between the two pearls. I'm going to pick up five, I think. Let me just check my, one, two, three, four, five. Okay, I picked up five 11 O's. You can use 15 O's here. I kind of mentioned that in the earring video, but I'm just going to stick with my 11 O's. So you have five 11 O's. I'm just going to skip over to the next group of four on the next side and just sew through all of those. Do you see how that puts a little, little corner on? Pick up five 11 O's. Do that again. So you're exiting the fourth bead on this side. You're just going to sew through the four that you put on previously on this side, and then just do it two more times um, to surround each one of the corner pearls. This is the last group together. So I have my five per my five 11 O's. So I'm through the four on the side. And then I'm just going to sew around the beads until I, so I'm sewing through all seven around the pearl and then down the four on the side. Okay? It kind of secures everybody. And now you're done with the component. You see? So it kind of puffs out a little bit and you have this sort of dimension on the back that, you know, kind of keeps everything in shape nicely. All right. So what you're going to do here is for a seven and a quarter inch bracelet, which is what I have here, that's including the clasp. I had seven components. So if you have a, if you need a larger bracelet, you can put and you know you can put on another component, or you can just extend. Like if you're in between sizes, you can extend your clasp um, to make it, you know, to make it fit. All right. So get your components done, and then meet me back here, and we'll sew them together. Let's see. Okay, we're back. So I'm going to just use three components to, you know, show you how to attach. So just one thing before we attach them. If you notice, like, see how puffed out this piece is, and this one's, I've, it's a little more flat. I don't know if you can see that. Um, all I did here was, with this um, particular daisy spacer, I just pushed it in a little bit and made it sort of puffy, but the interior uh, flattened out a little bit. You don't have to do that. Just be consistent on how you do them. I just think it looks really pretty this way. And then the crystal kind of sits in there. All right. So here we are coming out of one of the four uh, side beads. And the way you're going to do this is you, you should have enough thread left over to connect them. So just find another side. What I do is I kind of go through the four side beads. And because some of them are going to be a little more filled with thread than others. So I just find the easiest, the side that's going to fit through. Easiest. Just a little tip when you're, okay, that works, when you're um, doing this. Um, that makes it a little bit easier. So let's see if this side works so I can use that other side. Let's see. Actually, they're all pretty good. But just in case, you know, it gets a little tight for you, either go to your size 12 beading needle or just put your needle through to see which, um, side is the easiest to get through. Okay, so here we are. We're exiting the fourth bead. We're just picking up a three millimeter and going through the four beads again on the the next unit. So a very simple connection. Three millimeter. Back up through the four on the other unit. And then you want to reinforce these by going around. Just go around again. And then, you know, sew in your 
threads in the back somewhere. So go around, go around again, sew through here, sew through here, and you know, maybe through a couple of these. Just make sure you keep this clear for your next unit. All right, so get those done, and then meet me back here, and we'll continue. Okay, so let's get the one end of the clasp beaded. So here's my quick link, and or the ring, the 12 millimeter. Oh, I'm, so I'm going to thread my needle with about three feet of thread. I'm going to pick up an 11-0. You can put a stop bead on. Pick up 11 -0. I'm just going to put my needle through and sort of situate my bead. Now let me pull in super tight for this. See how I'm situating my bead right in, in the interior part of my of my link. So here. And then I'm just going to sew through the bead just to catch that loop on there, right? So see how that loops the bead around? So it's just like doing it the other way. It's just you're doing it on the inside. I know sometimes it seems like really strange, but <laughs> this is this is how it works. So here I'm I've dropped down a bead. I'm just gonna situate that bead next to the previous bead on the interior of the link, and I'm going to sew through like this. So I'm sewing through the back to make a loop, right? And that loops it around the link. See, so we'll do it again. I'm going to pick up an 11 0. I'm going to drop it down. So, and I'm going to, to place it right next to my previous one. I'm going to just sew through the back of the bead just to make a loop and loop it around the link. All right, so you're just going to do that all the way around. And then when we come back, I'll show you how to connect them. Okay, I'm coming down to the end, so I'm going to put on my last 11 -0. So I'm dropping 11 -0 down. Sewing through to loop it around the ring. And that's all I'm going to fit there. So coming out of this bead here, I'm just going to sew through the next one just to connect these two beads like that. And then I'm going to, you can just turn it around here if you want and sew back through the bead I connected it to. Oops, let me straighten that out. Like that. I'm going to turn it to my front again. So you're just, so you're just going to connect that bead there, just like that. And then I'm going to sew up through the next bead. Like that. All right, I'm going to give you a minute just to, to play with that connection and then we'll continue. Okay, so the inside's done and I'm, see I'm exiting a one of the beads here, one of the 11 O's, so just kind of like that. I'm going to pick up a three millimeter 11 O and a three. So here, that's where I'm coming out. Oops. I'm just going to sew through, back to front through the link. So I'm th going through the link in between the link and where my 11 O's are. So I'm just, see how my needle's going right through? I'm just going to situate those beads like that. And then I'm going to sew up this pearl. Like that. Now this pearl is not, the, the first one is not going to be connected. We're going to connect that one at the end, so don't worry about it. All right, so that's how you're going to start. I'm going to pick up an 11 -0 and a 3. I'm going to sew through the link again. And up the 3. And again, 11 -0. 3 millimeter. Sewing onto the link, in between the link and the... 11 O's on the inside and up through the three. I'm giving a little pull each time. You're going to do that all the way around and then when we come back I'll show you how to connect the two ends. All right, so okay, we're back. So now we're going to connect the two ends. So I have my last 11 O pearl on and now I need this 11 O here. So this is that, remember that original bead, that first bead we put on isn't quite connected so this is what we're going to do. We're going to take an 11 O and sew down through that bead. You're going to go through your quick link just like you've been doing 
And then I want you to sew up the bead you just went down. So you're going to have to either turn it over or just turn it around or look for it. I'm going to have to turn it around. You can tell it's a wonky bead. See, because it's not connected right here. So you'll be able to see it. So then just go through that bead and connect it. And now everybody is all happy and all connected. All right, so get that done and then come on back and we'll continue. Okay, we're back. So let's continue. So just a, a side note, that would make a pretty earring just in itself. I mean, so many parts of this are just pretty. So let's continue and get to that. So here I'm, I'm coming out of this pearl. I'm just going to make a turn and come through the 11 -0. Pick up a druck. Sew through the next 11 -0. Going to pick up an 11 -0. Sew through the next 11 -0. Pick up a truck. Sew through the next 11 -0. Pick up an 11 -0. So through the next 11 -0. So you're just going to alternate drucks on 11 O's all the way around. Maybe a couple of beads before the end and we'll finish it together. Okay, coming down to the end. So I'm going to add an 11 -0. And a druck bead. So if you notice, because we have an odd number of pearls here, we have two of our druck beads that are very close together, which you want because that's going to be where we're going to connect it. Let's see, let me grab this. That's where we're going to connect it to the bracelet. So that's going to be our connection point. So you have all these drucks and then you have the two that are very close. So if, you know, if you're looking at it saying that looks weird, it's not. It's just exactly the way it's supposed to be. Okay, so we're just, we're, we're coming out of this 11 -0. I'm just going to sew through the next drop bead, the next 15 -0, and I'm going, to, I want you to exit that 11 -0 that's in the middle of the two drops and in the middle of those two 15, uh, two 11 -0. So that middle 11 -0. And this point is we're going to start to curve it in a little bit. So pick up one, let's see, one, two, three, I think it's four. Let me check. Four. Four 11 O's. So you're coming out of this 11 O. Just hop over to this one. Like that. Pick up four 11 O's. Do it again. Just hop over to the next center 11 O. Keep going. Four. Like that. Pick up four. So through this one. So you're just doing that all the way around. And then when you get to the end where the little truck beads are. We're going to do the same thing. We're going to pick up four 11 O's and you're just going to, you're going to skip those and you're just going to sew through, you know, that middle one again, right here between the two drucks. So that's the original one. So you're skipping all of these and sewing through this one. And that's going to put those four on. Don't worry about it. If it doesn't look as even as the rest, you're going to straighten everything out by sewing through the next four 11 O's. I'm going to skip the corner. I'm going to sew through the next four. So all the four groups of four that I put on, I'm sewing through all of those to pull this in. I'm not pulling super tight. I'm just giving, you know, I'm just making sure it's nice. It's snug. So sewing through all my groups of four until I come all the way around. Skipping that corner. Um, where, oh, okay, I'm coming up to the drugs. That's what I want to be. So four. All right, so here are my drug beads. I'm going to sew through those four as well. You know, where the two are close together. And that kind of makes the back of my 
my clasp. You want to give it a little pull to make sure everybody's nice and straight. So pull in the direction you're sewing. And then here you go. You've got your, you know, make sure the this end puff out a little bit. Um, where are we? Okay, there we are. Now, if it's a little bit loose, you can go around again, and this time you go through the corner beads. So here, I won't do the whole thing, but I'll just show you. So I'm going. I'm actually sewing through the corner beads at this at this point, and going around one more time. There's plenty of room in those beads to do this. Actually, I would suggest you do this because it it uh, makes it nice and sturdy because it is your clasp, and you want to make sure it's going to stay. So I said it wasn't going to go all the way around, but I kind of did. So let's, you might as well just finish it up. I want to get to those, the, 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 um, this part where I've, the two drucks are, because this is where we're going to put our, so I'm going to exit actually the fourth bead, okay? So I'm not going to go through that corner bead at the end by the two, these two drucks. And then when I give it a pull, yeah, that makes it really nice and sturdy. So I would do that. So get that done and then meet me back here and we'll start connecting the clasp. Okay, we're back. So my my unit is done and I'm going to hold it so that my connection point, you know, where the two drucks are close together, right here. I'm just going to turn it over. And remember, we came out of that group of four. I just want, I'm, what I'm going to do is I want to get through this druck here. So I'm just going to make a turn. I'm going to come through the 11 the druck. Just the 11 -0. and the next drop bead. So when I hold it like this, see I'm coming out of this drop, this side drop bead. Now I'm going to connect. So we're going to use these four center beads on the end of our, remember those four beads that we put on there, those are always our connection points. We're going to connect to the outer, the, the outer bead of that group of four each druck is going to connect and I'll show you. So pick up an 11-0. Here are my four. I isolate those four center beads. Just come sew through the first one. Like that. Pick up another 11-0 and sew back through the druck bead. I suppose you can connect them with drugs. I don't know. You try it. So here I've just added a unit on, you know, a right angle weave unit on here. So I'm going to sew through the 11 0, back through this 11 0. Like that. I just want to reinforce it down through this one. So this is just my reinforcing part here. Through the druck. Back up through this 11 -0. That's the side 11 -0. Through Through the top 11 -0 and through the, the other, you know, all four of those beads of the 11 O's. See that? We're just going down to the other end now. If you need to switch to your size 12 beading, you'll do that. I haven't done it yet. Pick up an 11 O. Sew through this truck bead. You know that the second of those two that are close together. 11 O. Back through this 11 out to make a unit. And then you want to do the same thing with this side. You want to sew around the beads to reinforce them. your clasp on. Now an optional thing to do, I'm not going to do it, but would be to sew through this 11 
and then add a druck or a you know another druck or an 110 right here if you want to make the clasp if you want it to be a little bit wider so that's certainly up to you so you can do that and then then reinforce all your threads sew them in through the back yeah, I wouldn't even be adverse to putting a little half hitch knot along one of these, um, one of the five beads in the corners, just to make sure everything's on nice and tight. But there's your clasp. There's one end of your clasp. Get that done, and then we'll put the other end on and be done. Okay, let's get the other end on. We're getting there. So I'm using the thread from uh, one of my units. So again, we're working with those four beads on the side. If not, you can just add a thread. So I'm picking up three 11 O's, a three millimeter pearl, and three 11 O's. I'm going to sew through the loop on my toggle bar, pick up three 11 O's, sew back through the pearl. You want to make sure you pull that toggle bar, you know, the loop down so that the beads are looping around it. You see that? You know, you know, you don't want it just sitting on the thread. And then pick up three 11 O's. Going to sew through the four beads on the side. Like that. And that's going to add on my clasp. And you know, you're going to reinforce, so Make sure you come up through all the beads. Through the beads on the clasp. Make sure they, they're nice and tight up there. Beads on the side. Through this pearl. Down these. You got it. Back through, if you can get it. I still haven't switched my size of 10, uh, uh, 12 beading needle. <laughs> At this point I probably should. So I'm just going to get through all the beads and then you're going to sew your threads in, in the back. And like I said, you can put a little knot in there. All right, so then come back and I'll show you how to, to glue in the crystals and then we'll take a look at our bracelets. Okay, so I'm not gonna glue them in because I don't have a full bracelet, but I've just taken one of my, my um, crystals and let's say pretending I'm gonna put a dab of my glue on the back, either the Loctite Super Glue or E6000. And I'm just going to place it right here in the center and you want to make sure you have it nice and centered before, you know, you have a, like a few seconds to play with it. So I'm putting one in each, so a little glue on the component. Place it in the center, and there you go. So that's what you're going to do. There's your bracelet. There's your mini. Here's the maxi, <laughs> the full bracelet. I hope you had fun with this video. I had so much fun creating this and playing with all the different, you know, types of beading. Um, so again, I want to thank you for joining me. Please like and subscribe if you enjoyed this video, and I'll see you on the next video. Take care. Bye-bye.